What's going on everyone? I'm going to be going over the GR2 26 liter as a gym bag. Um, apologize for the audio or uh, any of the lighting. This will be my first YouTube review, so uh, just a heads up on that. So we're gonna look at the GR2 26 and the 500 denier um, Cordura. This is the newest one released by GORUCK. Uh, I was able to pick this up in a trade a couple weeks ago. Um, so this is now becoming my gym bag. Uh, this is replacing my 511 Covert 18 bag. Um, overall, I loved it, but uh, time for a change. Um, so I'm not going to be going over the specs of this bag. You'll be able to look this up on GORUCK's website. Um, I do have a couple other bags that I will compare this to at the end. Um, so let's just get into it. So bag is empty now. I'm gonna load it up exactly how I do for the gym. So we're gonna start in the back. First thing we got, knee sleeves. Knee sleeves are gonna sit right back here in this pocket for me. Just stay nice and flat. Next, we're gonna move on to some lifting shoes. So I wear a size 10 and a half lifting shoe, um, fits in there pretty well. Maybe you could get in an 11, uh, 11 and a half in there, but uh, anything beyond that, you'd be pushing it. So I like to load them up just like this. That way we can stack things on top of it. Zip the bag up just a little bit. Last thing that we're gonna get into for loading here is going to be the belt and a couple blender bottles. So belt, fold it up, lays nice and flat on there. And as we get up towards the top, we fit two blender bottles in there. You still have room for probably at least a third um, you could probably get a, a little hoodie in there or something like that, but just for reference, that's kind of how wide you're looking. So that takes care of the back. Let's move on to this front pocket here. So front pocket, I use a little bit more of this, the actual pockets themselves um, to load in a couple accessories and such. So first thing we're gonna get into, wrist straps. Wrist straps are gonna sit right in this top pocket on the inside flap here. Reason for that is I use my wrist straps a lot. And then in order to kind of mitigate some of that smell, I usually leave it open about halfway just so I can get some of that smell and that ventilation out of there. Next, we're going to look at ankle cuffs. We're gonna go down in this front pocket right in here, as well as some bar wrist straps to go around the bar for deadlifts and such. So those guys go right in front here. And then the cuffs, these are actually very, very good to use um, for shoulders as well. I'll pull them apart, wrap them around my wrist, and use them for side delt raises as well. So these guys love them. I'll just throw those right in here. Easily accessible. Close that one up. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the hip circle. Hip circle, we're just going to throw at the bottom here as well as just a thin band. Usually bring a couple of those, one or two, just to help stretch out towards the front and the end of the workout. So that all fits in. I still have plenty of room. If I wanted to, I could fit a lot more in there. I could still fit at least a hoodie or something like that in there if I wanted to. Before we zip that all the way up, 
little pouch right here. We've got Beats headphones, pack of gum going in the front. Little thing of hand sand going in that little pocket in there. And then in case the headphones die, always have to have a backup for the iPhone. And then a gym lock if needed. It all goes in that front little pouch there. So that takes care of all of the equipment that I keep in my gym bag ready to go. Last thing is this front access clamp pouch. Only things that go in there, wallet and keys. So that's gym bag loaded up. Um, not much more than that, it's still very light. A uh, good thing about this compared to the 511 is it's not gonna fall over like the 511 does everywhere. So um, overall, this is probably the favorite bag that I've had. Uh, I keep these flaps pulled back just because I'm in the gym. It's much faster to just find your zippers and not have to deal with the flaps. So that is the gym bag layout. So next we're going to move on to just a couple size comparisons. This right here, GR2000D. 34 liter, little bit bigger, just a little bit. Overall, this is kind of, uh, this is one of my favorite bags. This is the first bag that I ever bought um, a couple years ago, first Go Ruck bag. So uh, definitely probably one of my favorite bags out there, but um, I'll try them on too for you guys, just for everyone to see as well. So pull that down real quick. Had this guy come in yesterday this is a gr240 liter so a lot larger you can see that nice height difference there so a lot larger uh, specs are all on go rocks website um, as well as a lot of pictures and, and everything else out there so um, won't get into all that but that's just a couple size differences Last thing we're gonna look at is um, comparison to the GWA Citadel. This is currently what I use for work. Um, it is a very nice bag, very lightweight. Um, however, I will probably end up trying to snag another one of these for my work bag and possibly dump this guy. Um, Citadel would probably not be able to hold all of my um, gym equipment as I would like. So um, may end up offloading this, but still a, a great bag. Love this bag overall. So uh, that's it for size comparisons of all of the bags there. So try them on real quick for you. So for reference, I'm 5'11", about 200 pounds. So start with the GR2 26 liter. Next, we're going to move into the GR2 34 liter, 1000D. This is the bag I've used for at least two years now. Sits a little bit lower. Again, this bag and the 40 are not packed out at all, so empty bags, but. And then finally, the big one, GR2 40 liter. Um, again, this one's not packed out. Just got this in yesterday uh, from someone in one of the groups. So just throw it on. Definitely a lot bigger. All right, so that's going to uh, do it for this review. Again, 
GR2 26 liter as the gym bag. Probably the favorite bag out there so far. I will definitely look forward to uh, trying to get another one of these, hopefully in August, I believe, is when they're re-releasing. So um, any questions, feel free to, to let me know and I'll try and answer as best as possible. Thanks.